Yo, what's good, Game Day Nation? I'm coming back with another basketball recap. As you can see, Fayetteville State and the Broncos went down to Cameron Indoor Stadium to continue that preseason, start of the season exhibition game that they always do every single year. This year, it looked not too bad for the Broncos. The Broncos showed a lot of growth on offense and a lot of versatility on defense. I'm here to break it down for you. Game Day Nation, let's ride. Now, even though the Broncos did get blown out on the court, head coach John Shiner for the Duke Blue Devils even admitted that the Broncos had some great offensive sets that their defense actually had to work to actually get the stops that they wanted. They just couldn't knock down the shots as the Blue Devils get a nice three-pointer right here to go. Even though this play didn't work out, I love this set that the Broncos ran. A dribble handoff into a backdoor cut for a lob. It just didn't work out, and this is how the story went for the Broncos the whole night. You know, the offense, the other team isn't dictating how the game is going to be played. And, you know, actually, Fayetteville State, they run a lot of actions. You know, they run a lot of actions, and they run some really good stuff. So, so for our team, that's our first time seeing being put in some of those situations. So, you're on the fly, you really need to communicate and talk and um, you know, I thought the intensity of, you know, understanding our worthy, I mean, he can go off at any time and, you know, we were fortunate that he didn't make some shots tonight, but that'll be a key defending somebody else's best player or best scorer. And when he says worthy, he's talking about Cress Worthy, who gave the Blue Devils 16, but shooting two for seven from behind the arc. And Worthy has a partner in crime, Marcus Elliott, right here, who also had a nice 10 points on the game. And you may be thinking, oh, they can bomb for 26, but you gotta think, whenever you're putting the Blue Devils' best defenders on skates like that, and your backcourt is combining for 26 points against a top five team in the nation, you can't be nothing but happy for that. The Broncos showed very nicely how they can shoot the ball whenever they get comfortable whenever they are in their zone. And I'm telling you, with this backcourt, it's really something to look out for in the CIAA as they're taking it into the tall trees and getting a nice and one. And like John Shiner said, Chris Worth can get off at any moment. He finished the game with 16 and he was letting it know, man, I don't care who I'm playing, I'm here to kill. I don't care if you a top five recruit or whatever, I'm gonna hit you with this step back J and let you have it. And I'm gonna turn to the crowd and let them know, yeah, I'm really him. But even with Crest and Worthy's efforts to try to keep the Broncos in the game, the name of the game was nervousness and turnovers. It was just too tall, too fast, too athletic for the Broncos, and they kept turning the ball over and over, and they couldn't overcome it. But as long as they were working hard and they was battling on the court, that's all head coach for the Broncos cared about. Um, hey, just you know, tell the team, the other thing control is how hard you work. And I don't care about the scores. As long as we're working hard, we're gonna, we're gonna mess up on defense, we're gonna mess up on offense. But if we're working hard, I'll be pleased with the effort because you gotta get the effort first. But like I said, the Broncos didn't play as bad whenever they got the nerves settled down. Step back, pull up, Jay got it to go. With them playing like this against the Blue Devils, I wonder how they match up in the CIAA. And with a high scoring backcourt, you need just a couple of people in the front court to handle the business, just like Sean Hauser does right here. And like I said, even though the Broncos got blown out, I would love to see how they're going to do in the CIAA play this year. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the defending champs are not going nowhere. So you best believe if you got them on your schedule coming up, you better play close attention because them champs is looking to repeat. It's Game Day Nation and we out. Y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing. Y'all, it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming.